Today we are going to take you on a walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. So let's start the show. I wanna make you shake, make you sweat, make you uh uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh uh. I wanna make you shake, make you sweat, make you uh uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh uh. I wanna make you shake, make you sweat, make you uh uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh uh. This, Paul, we are about to go on to Brooklyn Bridge, and you can tell it is a tourist area because of all the tat, right? This wasn't here back then. So, this is all designed to basically cash in on all the people who are walking across if they want a tacky souvenir. This wasn't here back then. This wasn't. You might even want a I Love New York Teddy. What do you think, Marcus? Do you remember any of this? Well, I'll remember the actual bridge, but as you say, Not none of this. this existed back in the day. No. And I wonder, do they need a license for this, or is it all illegal? They should probably have a license. But we just found out, we've actually just walked through number one police plaza. So you think that the NYPD would be straight onto this if there was a problem with licensing. So they probably are all licensed and above board. This place has become commercial. And we're not I can't even on say the that. Bridge yet. We're not even on the bridge. Well, it looks like there aren't as many vendors now. Well, we are approaching the start of the actual bridge. It was a bit of an incline now. But uh, the main part of the structure is still quite a way off. Oh, gosh. Are we going to regret coming? Oh no. You can drive on Brooklyn Bridge as well, and it looks as though that the motorists here are maniacs. Well, we're about to walk on to the actual bridge itself right now. This is pretty crazy, isn't it, Paul? And we're here on a Friday morning in November. And uh, if I go up here, you can actually see how busy it actually is. Um, ahead of us, we can see the structure of the bridge now. But there are just loads and loads of people. It's quite noisy because we've got helicopters overhead. And that's what you find, in, of course, in New York. Everything is noisy. Someone was just playing Concrete Jungle by Alicia there. Keys. Alicia Keys. And that really is what it's like. Right, you've got to pick your moment for this. So we're now entering the main part of the, the bridge. You can see the flag on top up here. And here's Paul. Hi. What do you think of it so far? And we're not even on the river yet. It's a bit high and a little chilly. So this is the East River. Isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, at least I got that right. It looks like someone's broken down on the bridge. So there are people tooting horns, impatient, trying to get past. Yep. If you toot the horn, you'll go faster. Did you know that?
Look at this magnificent view of the Manhattan Bridge. How are you liking this, Marcus? Well, look, I've just noticed the bridge was built in 1875. So it's almost 150 years old, almost as old as me. So we've got downtown Manhattan here and the financial district. The Staten Island Ferry in the distance. Governor's Island and across to Brooklyn. Well, it is the Brooklyn Bridge after all. Not sure what these spheres are, but there are four of them. There's one over there, two in the middle and one at this side. Well, I think we are at the halfway point now and we've got a little bit of shelter from the wind here, but there are all these padlocks that people have attached onto the wire mesh along the way. But over on this side, we have got the Manhattan Bridge, which also crosses the East River. So we're coming into another one of these enclosed areas with the spheres in front of us. So the bridge is symmetrical. That means that we've reached the same point as we were at just back there, which means we are more than halfway across now. Yeah. I have really bad hair day tonight. Uh, me too. It's horrible. Just look at the scale of it. It's absolutely enormous. Even more so from this angle, I know this is your favourite angle, Paul, but you can just see the vastness of the structure behind us. Right, so if you want to know what is at the other end of the Brooklyn Bridge, if you got on in yeah. Manhattan, well, on one side you've got Dumbo. What does that mean? Uh, down under Manhattan Bridge Underpass or something? Down under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass, I think. Yeah, what a, yeah, yeah, something like that. And on this side, we have got... Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights, where we went last year. So if you look back to one of our episodes from last year, you can see what's in hearts, indeed. Oh my gosh, Marcus. This was a pretty windy day, but overall it wasn't too chilly. Well, actually, my ear is very cold. Uh huh. Yeah. But it's been a great walk, and I, it's weird because I can remember doing this once many years ago. A long time ago. But it ago. seemed different back then. Maybe it's because they got all Without these, the stalls. Yeah, all the stalls, they really sort of like bring bring it down. Uh -huh. um, and it is very, very touristy. And we were just saying off camera before, I was asking Paul, I said, do most people just walk across and then go straight back again to Manhattan? I think that they just cross midway and then they go back. But if you were to stay the whole way to Brooklyn, who knows what you might find. In fact, that's in the next part of the show. Hey, we have a really special message for the viewers. And what might that be?
you know what to do, please subscribe to its Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Welcome to Dumbo and this is one of the new areas around Brooklyn I suppose it's been built up over the last 20 years or so and there are loads of shops and restaurants so we're going to check out some of them right now Wow this is truly international isn't it Paul look there yeah. is Rod and Gun which is one of the big fashion stores in New Zealand. Oh wow, where I thought. So that's the Manhattan Bridge over there, yeah, isn't it Paul? That is the Manhattan Bridge and it it basically passes over this area. Hence the name Dumba. Yeah exactly. What's this, a Dumbo station? I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that? Oh, oh, right. I thought that's where you had to go if you got arrested. You had to go to the Dumbo <laughs> station. <laughs> Underneath the archway. It also gets a bit noisy here, Paul, where the Dumbo sign is, because there's a train going over the... Uh, the head of us there. What line is that? Do you know? I think it's like the N. The N. The N Q B D or whatever. Oh right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. So we are entering the Time Out Market. That's right. Time Out Magazine. There is Time Out New York, and. They have this marketplace here, so we are going to check it out. And it is lunchtime, so hopefully we'll get something to eat and maybe also to drink. We have had our beer and now we've come upstairs at the Time Out Market and it's got this fabulous array of magazine covers from Time Out throughout the world. What a view! We are outside now at the market and we're being photobombed. Who's what? our special guest today? <laughs> Paul, can you believe that we actually walked across the bridge the whole way over Not here? Not really. It's pretty... But it was pretty awesome though. And you can see the Manhattan Bridge as well, just over here. Mm -hmm. Oh look, Holly Willoughby. Oh, okay. It's Holly. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Holly? He's like, get out of here. Where's Ivy? Ivy, right there. Don't touch him. <laughs> Poison. Hey, Look at the red foliage. Oh, 
There's an ice skating rink here now. Oh, oh really? Wow. I don't know if you guys ice skate. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can barely walk. But you can't bend your toes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the ice skate. All right, okay. So you'd be good. I'd be good then. Oh, going over there. Well, that was such an interesting walk down memory lane, going from Manhattan to Brooklyn on the Brooklyn Bridge. So, before I let you go, I just want to say. To please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and like it as well if it brought you any joy and also leave any comments if you want to say something about today's program and until next time bye Mm, this is nice this one.